in school. Man cannot live by education alone. <laughs> well, why don't you get a little playtime in until dinner? Who with? I wish I had a brother. I'd even settle for a sister. Well, maybe one of these days you'll have one. That's what you keep saying. But I don't think you're really working on it. <laughs> oh, honey, would you get that? Hi, Jamie. Hi, Harriet. <laughs> Jamie, that was rude. That's no way to treat your neighbor. I'm sorry, Mom, but she deserves it. Harriet's a pill and she's nosy. What a waste of womanhood. <laughs> oh, well, there's your father. You can ask him to play with you. Hi, honey. Hi, Dad. Hi. <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't think I'll ask Dad to play with me. I don't think I will either. <laughs> What happened, Ted? Well, I, I told you I was working on that special project at the lab. Oh, the one you've been working on all those nights? I didn't even tell my boss about it. Anyway, I, I decided it was in good enough shape to show it to him today. He wouldn't even discuss it. Well, what is it? Why wouldn't he discuss it with you? This. <laughs> it's a doll. A great big doll. Gee, Dad, a grown man playing with a doll at work? Ted, I don't understand. Uh, your company makes electronic gadgets. Uh, those robots that weld cars and fill bottles and stick labels on cans. That's right. Well, then why would he be interested in a doll? Joni, honey, this is not just a doll. It's an experimental V-I-C-I. Give that to me in English. V-I-C-I, that means Voice Input Child Identicant. It means it can be controlled by voice command. It's a computerized robot. And honey, this could be invaluable to society. Like it could, it could teach in the schools or in the hospitals to help in therapy for speech impaired or handicapped children. There are hundreds of practical uses for it. Ted, it's a fabulous idea if you can do it. You know something, Dad? Yeah, what's that, Jamie? You better stand back when a doll this size cries and what? <laughs> Honey, this is just too important to give up. Now, I know it would be a big inconvenience, but would you mind if I worked on it? To... At home? Yeah. No. Oh. I mean, no, I don't mind. Oh, yeah, great. Great. In fact, I'd be relieved if you were here at home. I'd know what kind of doll you were working on nights. Mm. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Blink eyes. <laughs> Wiggle nose. <laughs> now for the final touch. Respond to voice command.
Open your eyes and stand up. Well, <laughs> if I do say so myself, you are fantastic. I'm fantastic. <laughs> Uh, Joni, Joni. Dinner is already a... Dinner? Uh, that thing we do every night at the table that gets all the dishes dirty? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, listen, honey, I'm, I'm much too excited to eat. Now, uh, after all these weeks of uh, patiently waiting, I'd like you both to meet Vicky. Vicky? Oh, yeah, my voice input child identical. V-I-C-I, -I, I, I pronounce it Vicky. Vicky. Yeah. That's cute. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Come in here, Vicky. Say hello to my family. Hello to my family. <laughs> oh, Ted, are you putting this on? That's a real kid, right? No, no, it's a robot. Oh, Ted, that's incredible. I, I can't believe what I'm seeing. Oh, yeah, yeah, get a load of this. <clears throat> what time is it, Dickie? When you hear the tone, the time will be 5, 43, and 20 seconds. <laughs> Man, that's wild! Looks like a real girl, Dad! And it feels like a girl! Oh, yeah, it's a new synthetic material they use for artificial limbs. Just like real skin. And it smells like a girl. Well, I use some of Mom's perfume. Hey, do, you, do you like the way I dressed her, Joni? Oh, and that's real human hair. Uh, do you like it, Joni? I mean, would you rather have a redhead? Oh, no, that's all right. Uh, please, put it back. <clears throat> so how do you like it? Ted, I'm lost for words. It, suddenly, like having another child in the house. Yeah, only this time I gave birth. <laughs> <clears throat> Honey, the, the, the real question is, can it be programmed to have human values and emotions? Or, or even human faults? What a challenge, huh? Dad, what do we say to her? Do we have to wind her up with a key or something? No, 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 no. It's activated by the light. You see, its eyes here are solar cells, and its brain is a data flow system using wafer scale integration with the data pads hooked into a self-organizing systolic array processor. That makes sense. <laughs> Ted, how do we treat her? Like it was a real child. It responds to any voice command, and I programmed it to know everything and to be able to do everything that a human 10-year-old can do. Well, at least it's supposed to. Uh, you have to remember that it's still in the experimental stage. I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Jamie. I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Vicky. Shake hands. <laughs> wow! Wow! Can be used as a tape recorder, too. <laughs> Dad, can I keep Vicky in the cabinet with my other toys? Oh, sure, I guess so. Oh, Ted, you can't keep a child in a cabinet. Honey, it's not a child. It's, 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 it's an it. it. It's a machine. It's an android. Here, look. See? It's an electronic device. She's got wires inside instead of gizzards. <laughs> Joan, you have to keep remembering that it's not real. It won't be easy. Boy, this is a blast. I've got my own robot. Hmm? That way, Vicky. Now, Jamie, Jamie, it's not perfected yet. You see what I mean? You gotta watch it every minute. Vicky, are you okay? You know, bumping into the door must have affected the voice mode. Now I'm going to have to take it all apart and examine the voice circuits. I can fix it, Dad. I'm okay. <laughs> like I fixed the stereo. Now, I don't want it out of the house, all right? And remember, Harriet's father works at my company, too, so not a word to her about this. I mean, this is what we call top secret, right? Right. The toppest. Okay. Vicky, 
open your eyes, it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. We have to get up early because we've got work to do. Work to do. Come on out. That's my dirty shirt and socks over there. Pick them up and throw them in that laundry bag. <laughs> and then I'll show you how to make my bed here. <laughs> I think I've died and gone to heaven. <laughs> my mom and dad's anniversary today. They've been married 11 years. You know what marriage is? Yes, men and women get married and they have babies. Right. Listen, did my dad happen to program you about how they do that? I do not have that information. <laughs> I can't get it out of him either. Anyway, we're going to surprise them and serve them breakfast in bed. But first I have to get dressed. Oh, I know you're a robot, but you're a girl one. And I don't even let my mom see me in my underwear. Would you please turn your head? Turn my head. <laughs> Hey, you learned fast. We're gonna make my folks some eggs. You know what they are? They're in my memory bank, but I've never seen them. Well, this is an egg, see? And you have to be careful that you don't... <laughs> ...do that. They're very delicate. Delicate. Here, wipe your hands and give it back. Hi. What do you want, Harriet? Who's the new little girl in your house? Little girl? What little girl? The one that got here yesterday. The weird one. <laughs> you said to give it back. There she is. Oh, you mean this weird little girl. Yeah. I'm Harriet. Who are you? I'm Vicky. Would you believe Vicky here's my sister and she just arrived? No way. It takes nine months to have a sister. <laughs> <laughs> well, the truth is, Vicky's my, uh, my cousin. Yeah. And she's leaving today. <laughs> Boy, that was close. You're not supposed to be here. So if anyone happens to see you and ask you... I'll tell them I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> no, you say you're my cousin, got it? I'm your cousin, got it. <laughs> <laughs> I really like you, Vicky. You're funny. Funny? You like me? Yeah, but you're too serious. You gotta lighten up, kid. <laughs> Don't you ever smile? I'm not programmed to smile. Well, then I'll program you to. This is a smile. <laughs> <laughs> Got it? Got it. <laughs> it needs work. I'll get my folks a breakthrough, and you can take all the stuff to them, okay? Okay. It's the first door in the hall on the left. Go in and say, good morning, happy anniversary from Jamie and me, and give it to them. Good morning, happy anniversary from Jamie and me, and give it to them. Right, but first I better put some water on for the coffee. It's empty. I'll have to wait till Dad gets up. These bottles are too heavy for me to lift. Okay, get going. Move it, Vicky. Move it. <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> you said to move it. Put it down! <laughs> Jeez, you're strong. I'm a mechanical device. Wow! Wow. <laughs> morning. Happy anniversary, honey. Mm. <laughs> I said happy anniversary. Anniversary. Great. Who got married? Oh, we did. 
did. Oh, oh. Ted, you've got to get your mind off your work once in a while. Oh, oh yeah, oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, honey. Uh, happy anniversary, and, and thanks for putting up with all this uh, inconvenience. That's it? <laughs> That's all I get for 11 years and all this inconvenience? Well, 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 that was just a sample. Uh, would you like to see the entire line? Hmm? Good morning. <laughs> I got to program her for better timing. And to knock before entering. Well, what's all this? Happy anniversary from Jamie and me, hmm. and to give this to you. <laughs> Get in here. You really did it to me, Vicky. I've been in so much trouble lately, I'll never get out of this room. One more goof and I'll be getting married and raising a family right in here. <laughs> For your anniversary, I'll serve you breakfast in bed. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Hey, wait a minute. Mom and Dad's anniversary. If I get them a nice present, maybe they won't be mad at me. Yeah, great idea. I'll go to the store and get them a present. They said to go to your room. Yes, but they didn't say to stay here. So don't give me any back talk. Just remember who's boss here. Me, the Big J. <laughs> You've got a lot to learn about life, Vicky. You see, in a case like this, you just gotta sneak out. Sneak out? My dad sleeps late on Saturdays. So I'll be back before they get up. Get in your cabinet. See ya. See ya. I'm sure your parents will like this. That'll be 421 with the tax. I'll gift wrap it for you. Thanks. Sorry, kids, we gotta take the display down now. You take the clown, I'll take this one. Gee, it smells nice. Oh, no. Here's your gift, young man, and your change. Thanks. Let's grab a cup of coffee and then we'll have to finish up. Answer me. I can hear you. Listen, we've got a real problem. My computers are capable of solving problems. Well, stick this one in your computer. <laughs> You're locked in this room. How do you get out? What's your answer, Vicky? That's a real problem. <laughs> what a dumb robot. I'm not a dumb robot. I will solve the problem. <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> Let's get out of here! Hold it right there. <laughs> Why did you take Vicky out of the house? He's the boss. The Big J, we went to the store. <laughs> oh, hello. Hi, 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 Harriet. Can Vicky come out and play? Uh, Vicky? Jamie's cousin? Oh, uh, Jamie's cousin, right. Yeah, yeah, uh, no, no, uh, no, Harriet. She can't come out just now. <laughs> I told my daddy about her. Oh, what did you tell him? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> All right. How did Harriet know about Vicky? She was snooping around this morning, and I couldn't help it. So you told her that Vicky was your cousin. It takes nine months to have a sister. 
I did not program that in. <laughs> well, you're just gonna have to be more careful, Jamie. All right, now, was anybody at the store suspicious of Vicky? I mean, was there any problem? No problem. I broke the door down. <laughs> What? Happy anniversary, Dad and Mom. That's why I went out to buy this for you, even though I knew it'd kill me and I was risking my life, but I didn't care because I love you so much. <laughs> it was very sweet of you, Jamie. Thank you. Come on, Vicky. Well, we can't very well punish him now. <laughs> Listen, Vicky, I've had enough of you for one day. You've been a bad robot. You said you liked me. Well, I did this morning. And don't look at me like that. Why'd she have to follow me? I wonder if it's my fault that she did. Maybe I'm being too tough on her. Vicky, can you hear me? I can hear you. You can come out if you want. <laughs> I can see I'm going to have nothing but trouble with you. Trouble. She's a small wonder, lovely and bright and soft curves. She's a small wonder, a child unlike other girls. She's a miracle, and I grant you, she'll enchant you at her sight. She's a small wonder, brings love.